Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, how to. In this video we're going to be talking about shading using the airbrush. So what I have here is a circle, a green circle without any outline. Um, I'm going to um, create a uh, clipping mask over this layer which is uh, simply done by creating a new layer on top of the layer you're working on and then just holding down ALT, the ALT key, uh, go uh, in between the two layers and just click. This is for PC, I don't know what the exact command is for Mac. So now we have a, a clipping mask, this one. For the for the colored layer, and we're gonna be taking a um, soft airbrush and just increasing the size. For me, this is about 700 pixels. You can see the size is okay, and uh, toggle on the opacity control and choose the base opacity. Set it around. 30% 20, 20 to 30% and now I'm gonna use a color picker and choose the base color of the of the shape go to the to the color uh, swatch and just make it a shade darker now I'm gonna add the, the darker tone just nice and easy working with such a low opacity means that you're going to have to do multiple passes but you can already see how uh, this is changing okay now what I'm going to do is just go uh, and choose another color which is a bit darker than the one I used before and just not go over the entire uh, shaded area just go over a smaller part and again this is going to take multiple passes and then just go to ultimately go to pure black and just go over the an even smaller area Okay, so this takes or, takes care of the darker parts, and again, for the highlights, I'm gonna choose the base color and just go lighter. And let's assume the light comes in from uh, from the top left corner of the screen. I'm just gonna add some light lighter area here. Then I'm gonna go with the with the never lighter um, tone and add some highlight like here in the middle this is just a case of, uh, of study and you should study and know what works best for the kind of object you're, uh, you're uh, drawing or painting then I'm gonna take the pure white and just dab a little here just to give it that uh, that very light effect and I'm gonna if you, you can also go from for some uh, rim lighting that means how I'm adding rim, rim lighting is using pure white taking the brush uh, the brush size to make it somewhat small and just multiple passes going over the places that look Good, until they're saturated enough and you're happy with it again this is a thing of study and uh, knowing what works best for you and your type of illustration okay so there you have it that's a shaded object um, <clears throat> moving on if you're working with the um, you can see the difference right now from a circle you go to a ball 
Okay, so moving on, if you're working on a um, comic illustration, you're gonna have a uh, bold outline. Usually, you're gonna have a bold outline. So, uh, how I work is just have the line work on uh, on one layer and the color on another layer. And usually, the line work is uh, on the upper la layer. You see here? Mm hmm. So what I'm going to do is add a clipping mask on the color layer and just start the process once again with a big brush and pick the darker tone and just go in. Okay, the thing I wanted to show you right now is that if you're working on um, comic illustration or old school new school tattoo style illustration you can just get the sheeting done using black so you don't have to go through um, two or three tones of the color you just take black with again the opacity is uh, is very low and just start shading easily without applying too much pressure and then you go towards the rim towards the line work and add even more even more passes uh, with uh, even more pressure on the pen. Usually, old school, new school uh, tattoo style and comic uh, illustration have very bold um, shadows and uh, well, the singles for the highlights they're very bold. So don't be afraid to saturate it. You can come here and just saturate it to till you go. It goes black, completely black. And again for the highlights I'm choosing the base color going out with something super light and I'm highlighting this part again assuming the light uh, comes in from uh, from the top left corner of the screen and now I'm going in with the white and just doing some passes And again, some rim lighting. Rim lighting is always a nice touch, from my point of view. I like it. And there you have it. It's comicish. Okay. Um, the thing with comic style illustration is, although they're not realistic. I mean, let me turn on the other layer and the clipping mask. You can see the one on top looks more like a real ball like a 3d object and this one not so much but it's there it's believable the thing is uh, because of the line work and everything you won't be able to get that much of a re that much much realism into one piece however you can you can strive for that and remember even if it's a um, comic style illustration it should be based in uh, in realism it's easier for the for the viewer to understand what's going on if you have some basis in realism there okay so thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe